All right, hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick intro on race guns. So these are my two race guns here. Uh, they're both CK arms. They're both chambered in 9mm Major. So here's one of my rounds right here. It's 124 grain jacketed hollow point from Precision Delta. Uh, once fired mixed brass, 8.1 grains HS6. These are doing 1,420 feet per second. Um, so that makes major power factor for USPSA. But I did want to talk a little bit about the features and why we use these guns for USPSA Open Division um, and why they're important. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the comp. So this is the biggest thing. The comp and the dot are going to be the two biggest things that are different from the other divisions. So the compensator, you can see right here, um, has two large ports out the top with flat surfaces on the inside. So when the gas hits that, the walls, it shoots up. That's pulling the muzzle of your gun down um, and helping you to control the recoil and actually have a nice flat recoil. Um, the other thing on, on these guns actually is there's three popple holes in the top of the gun. So those are coming directly out of the barrel as well. Uh, so that's just adding to the amount of gas that's going to come out. So when you see this gun fire, you're pretty much you're going to see about 95% of the gas out the top of the gun and out the sides, but you're going to see almost no gas coming out the front following the bullet. So it's using almost the entirety of that gas pressure to help you control the recoil. The other thing is going to be your red dot. So on this gun and on this gun, I have Seymour's. Uh, they're both mounted horizontally. So the purpose of this is with 9mm, um, you have a lot of variation in the actual rim of the cartridge. So uh, the extractors, a lot of times, if you see a 9 major gun, you're going to see brass come up, out, so it's going to go in all the different directions. So um, I like having the horizontal mount for that. It clears the ejection port. Never have any issues there. Uh, the other thing is, is that it lowers the dot. So the dot is pretty close to the bore, um, and that just makes it nice so you have a you have less variation in your point of aim depending on the distance. A couple other things. All right, so this is a zig racker. So uh, this is actually just a ball detent, and then you've got uh, you got a little cutout here that you're able to press your racker into, and it's able to be pulled out very easily. Um, the reason we have this is obviously with a scope mount, it's hard to get a good uh, get some real estate on your slide. So this helps you rack the gun. Another thing on these guns is going to be your thumb rest. So as I'm holding this, my weak hand thumb is actually able to apply some downward pressure. And it also gives you a place where when you're getting your grip, my thumb is always going to come right on top of here. So I'm always going to have the same exact grip. My mag release, have a uh, knurled mag release, so that just makes it easier to release the magazine. We've got a very large funnel mag well. Both of these guns, very similar. Uh, the only difference between these two guns is I've got a steel grip and a polymer grip. Um, the difference is this gun quite a bit lighter, this gun a little bit heavier. But the nice thing about the steel grip is that it puts that weight into the palm of your hand and it helps you control that recoil a little bit better, or at least uh, feel-wise, it feels better. So uh, the other thing is going to be your trigger. Now with the 2011, which is what these are, um, you know, you want to have a good light trigger. This gun comes in at about uh, uh, one and three quarter pounds. So you can see, look at the trigger pull here. So this is the take up in the trigger. Um, the other thing is uh, grip safety, pin down. Uh, that's just for reliability. These guns, uh, typically you're going to have two different sizes of magazines. So you have a 140 millimeter magazine, uh, which this will be 21 rounds. And you have a 170 millimeter magazine. So this magazine can hold 30 rounds of 9 millimeter. That's what it'll look like in the gun. So overall, these guns are built for speed, but they're also built for precision. And uh, you can see I'll, I'll put a picture up of, uh, of a group at 40 yards with this gun, with that load that I showed you before. Um, this is about a uh, about an inch and a half, two inch group at 40 yards off a bench. Um, overall, these are built for 
power, speed, and accuracy, which are all the founding principles of USPSA and uh, IPSC. So uh, that's just a little bit of an overview of uh, some of the different components of these guns, what makes them so special, uh, the different features of them. Um, I mean, they're, they're built to go all out fast. These are the F1 Formula race cars of our sport, and uh, they're the most purpose-built gun uh, you'll really see in competitive shooting. Uh, so I hope this explained a little bit, and so you can see some of the features of these guns. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks. Stand by. I just can't stand the weight. That's just not fun to me. <laughs> oh, oh, Learn something slide. new every day. Let's see if the slide we'll cycles. Find out on <laughs> Watch it next week. Stand by! <laughs>